guys, and welcome back to the Virtual Reality Show, where we talk about any and all things related to virtual reality inside virtual reality. <laughs> I'm your host, Fia. As the holiday season approaches, lots of people are looking into VR for the first time. For many, you might already be familiar with the concept of VR from things like Ready Player One or Sword Art Online or even Lawnmower Man. For others, it's a strange sci-fi concept that they can't really wrap their brains around fully. Others just haven't cared about VR because of the price tag, but are now curious because it's becoming as affordable as a Nintendo Switch. This video is specifically aimed at those who are new to the concept of VR and are interested in why it's important. If you've already subscribed to my channel, then feel free to add to this conversation in the comments of why you think VR matters. And also consider sending this video to a loved one who's curious about VR but doesn't seem to understand why you're so into having this little box on your face. Okay, so with that out of the way, let me start by explaining how VR works before going into what you can do with it. VR uses something called stereoscopic imagery, meaning it has two separate images for each eye of the same object object that when seen together gives the illusion of it being in three dimensions. I'm sure you've seen a movie in 3D before with 3D glasses and it's very similar in concept. Now the magical part of VR is that because the headset blocks out your surroundings, you become immersed in this virtual world that is being displayed ahead of you. Your brain sees these places and actually perceives them as being real. This is what makes VR so appealing to people. Some people even go as far as to say that VR is life-changing. Your perception of the world can be warped as you realize that your body responds to what it perceives as real, not necessarily what is. There's a great video that demonstrates people using VR for the first time where they walk a plank from atop a skyscraper. Their brains respond to the experience thinking that it's real, making them hesitant to walk out on the plank despite it being an illusion. They experience fear and vertigo and then laugh as they realize that their understanding of perception has expanded. Okay, so now you see why the magic of VR is pretty exciting. So what is VR used for? Well, all sorts of stuff, not just games. It can be used as training for those who are entering dangerous career fields. It can be used as educational 360 videos or virtual field trips. It can even be used to create 3D art or just watching movies in a theater all to yourself. Almost anything you can imagine in real life, VR can do plus more. And the technology is only getting better. Most average households are using VR for video games, and the reason this is so appealing is because you become a part of them. Imagine that instead of clicking a button to reload a gun, you actually grab the ammo off your belt and do it yourself. You can actually man a spaceship, or throw a frisbee, or embody a game protagonist, becoming the hero you've always wanted to be. And then there's the social aspect of VR. Games like VRChat allow any user to step into a virtual environment and hang out with friends from all over the planet. You can go on a walk together, go camping under the stars, or even visit a virtual music festival with live DJing. Now, some people have the concern that VR separates you too much from the real world, but I encourage you to keep context that like anything, this is a purely individual experience and VR does bring a lot of comfort to those who may be socially anxious or live in an area where they struggle to meet friends. Some people may take it too far, just like anything else that they neglect their real life. But for so many others, it's a really healthy way to get social interaction, especially with what the world is like right now. VR is still in its early days, but it's getting more and more attention, and you watching this video proves that. Just like early phones and computers, each year we're getting major developments that are making VR more immersive and cheaper, meaning it's only a matter of time before having a VR headset becomes as common as owning a PlayStation or Xbox. We even have standalone headsets, which means you can use a headset without wiring it up to a computer. The Oculus Quest 2 is a perfect example of an affordable VR experience for only $299 and no need for a powerful gaming PC. You can take it on the go. 
The most popular VR headsets right now range anywhere from 300 USD to upwards of a thousand dollars and it can be even more if you get things like full body tracking where you can control a character fully by tracking these strappers to your feet and waist just like I'm doing right now. If you're interested in buying VR for yourself or a loved one, I'm actually going to be making a holiday buying guide for VR headsets later this month. So hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for all the shopping tips. VR is suited for people of all ages except for children. Headsets are not designed with children in mind, and most of the current VR games are also not child friendly. Especially not VR chat, where the premise of the game is to talk to strangers and meet new people. I encourage parents to wait till your child is at least 13, the recommended age by VR companies to start playing games in VR. However, you don't have to be a teen or young adult to enjoy VR either. VR is not just a trend for young people, but an innovative technology that can appeal to even elders. It can also be a great way to get exercise as well, because you're using your entire body to play games. If you hate going to the gym, consider using VR as an alternative to making exercise fun. I've only covered the tip of the iceberg as to what VR really is. Here on my channel, I cover tons of topics such as phantom touch, a phenomena where people feel physical sensation from interacting with VR worlds. If you want to dive deeper into VR, then subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. And if you found this video helpful, then give it a like and consider supporting me on Patreon. I'm also going live on Twitch right now after this video ends, so if you want to ask me direct questions, you can do so there. Anyways, I'm Fia, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Special thanks to this month's Patreon members. And virtual VIPs, Dutech, Flukule, Private Donuts, Scoremiler, and Top Waffle. Can you tell Alex to do an air horn with his mouth? Yeah, I want that. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Welcome, Raiders. Welcome. Luna, thank you so much. Welcome, guys. I'm in a very intense game of Battleship right now. And I reset all of my chips again.